This is a busy time of year for baking, and with more people staying home this year, you might find yourself doing more baking than usual and looking for new ideas. Tonight, Chef Matt Padilla from the White Barn Inn in Kennebunk joins us to share his recipe for a classic, brownies. So starting off first, we're going to melt some chocolate and butter in a double boiler. So I have a 68% chocolate. So I'm going to start melting this. I have some boiling water here. Put this in a metal bowl. So I'm just going to start melting this in a double boiler. And this is the perfect recipe to make for all those people that are going to be indulging by themselves for the holidays. So I wanted to make something that's really nice and rich. So while that's melting, I'll go ahead and explain our other ingredients that we have here. So we have um, some whole eggs, um, this is sugar, and then we have some sifted flour and cocoa powder. So the, the goal of the double boiler is just to melt that chocolate and butter gently at the same time. Um, so we want to make this nice and homogenous. So we want it to be all nice and emulsified together. Um, and this double boiler is going to slowly melt it, much slower than you would on the stove. So you definitely want to use the double boiler method. And the goal here also is, you know, I didn't want to make anything too complicated. You know, these holiday recipes, a lot of people make brownies out of a box because they, they think that it's easy. And brownies out of a box do come out pretty good. Um, but this recipe, they come out so much better. I really like a more of a fudgy brownie, which is the texture that you're going to get out of these. And that the real chocolate that you're using is going to be so much better than, than the boxed brownies that use a lot more cocoa powder. And again, you just want to gently melt everything together. You don't want to go leave it too long in a double boiler. You saw me take it off there for a second. Um, you, don't, you don't want it to necessarily get so hot that the, the butter separates from the chocolate. So you want a nice emulsified, almost like a chocolate sauce consistency. And the, the chocolate that I used, I want to mention also, um, be careful not to buy um, a chocolate bar because a chocolate bar you may get um, you know chocolate that's already sweetened or much sweeter so make sure to buy like um, bulk uh, baking chocolate is what I would recommend or look on the back of the package and make sure that they didn't sweeten it too much um, some some manufacturers add sugar to it so you want to make sure you don't buy like a already pre-made chocolate bar and buy chocolate that's made for baking so have our mixture here all the chocolate and butter is melted now i'm going to add in our sugar and eggs so that's nice and smooth all right now i'm going to add in our flour and cocoa powder here mixing that until until it all comes together you don't want to mix it too much or overwork it or anything you know just mixing that till there's no more bits of flour or anything in there and so the amount that I'm giving you um, works really well with a, a quarter size sheet pan um, it'll probably also work well in a um, like a nine by nine pan It'll be a little bit thicker than what we're making. As you can see, the ours are gonna come out pretty thin. So I got a nine by nine baking pan. This recipe will be perfect. Have our baking pan. I put a piece of parchment in here um, and sprayed it with baking spray. So at home, um, if you have a non-stick nine by nine pan, you don't necessarily need the parchment paper. Um, we put it in there so it's easier to get it out of the pan, but I would definitely spray it with some sort of baking spray. Now this is going just right into the pan here. And meanwhile, I have our oven already um, preheating to 350 degrees. Spread that out as evenly as you can. And it's gonna go right in here to our oven. All right, so the brownies have been in for 30 minutes, 350 degrees, so taking these out and we like to um, finish them with a little bit of salt on top as well which is optional but I really like the, uh, the crunch of the salty and sweet um, so that's it so that's our perfect brownies is what we call them 
perfect brownies from the White Barn Inn. We have the full recipe on our website, newcentermain.com slash 207.